Hey everyone, Doug from Convology here. Now I got a request from a lot of you to create a tutorial showing you how to connect Thrivecart with Fluent CRM, whether you're selling products and courses, whatever it might be, you want to be able to send your customers into the automations built using Fluent CRM. So let's dive in and take a look at how to do this actually really simple implementation. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is jump into Fluent CRM and go to settings and then find incoming webhooks. Then in the upper right hand corner, you want to click create webhook and we need to give our webhook a name. For this one, we're going to call it, uh, we'll call it course A, right? It doesn't matter what we call this. Um, this is for internal purposes only. And then on list, you can choose what list you want people to go to. So let's pretend that I'm creating a automation or I want people that purchase my courses or a particular course to be added to Fluent CRM. So for lists, we'll choose courses. And I like to re remind people that in Fluent CRM, the hierarchy is lists and then tags. So for example, if somebody buys one of my courses, uh, maybe they buy Thrive Architect Ultimate Essentials. Well, I still want to put them in my courses list in case I want to send an email to everybody that's purchased courses. But then I'm going to tag them as having bought that particular course. And I don't have a course tag created or a tag created for Thrive Architect Ultimate Essentials here on my demo site. So let's just say, We'll call this the best course ever, okay? Now on the status, I'm going to choose subscribe and I'm going to click create. Now what we have here is a webhook that we can send data to Fluent CRM from Thrivecart. So I wanna point out a couple of things here as we scroll down. First off, we have a section here with, with fields and keys. These are called value pairs or key value pairs or whatever you wanna call them. Um, I'm I'm not a super expert here at webhooks. I just know how to use them effectively. So here, if we wanted to get the person's first name, the key for the first name that we need to plug in to our tool sending data to Fluent CRM is first name and so on, right? We have last name, we have our, their email, that we have all these variables that Fluent CRM can receive. And if we've created custom variables, for example, if we wanted to get uh, the name of somebody's dog, right? I have a business right now that we're getting, collecting the name of their dog and we're putting that into Fluent CRM. So under custom fields here, if I had a custom field like dog name, the key would be dog underscore name or whatever I chose it to be when I created that custom field. So it's the same principle using these fields as it would be for custom fields. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and click update. And we're going to create ourselves a webhook. And here's the URL for this webhook. Let's go ahead and copy that, but we can always come back to it when we're ready to use it. Now, the next part of this tutorial is going to focus on how to get the data from Thrivecart over to Fluent CRM. And they can't connect directly because Thrivecart wants to send all of that data in an array. Think of an array like bundles of information put together and they send it all in, think of it like one big packet of data, right? But we only really want to pull out things like the first name and what product they got, maybe the pricing option they chose. Well, it's sending that array of data over through this webhook that wants very specific slots of information. And the array can't put that information into the designated slots. So Fluent CRM doesn't know what to do with it. So we need to kind of unpack that array of data, right? We need to unpack it so we have the first name and we have the email address, we have the product they purchased so that those slots can line up perfectly with our webhook. So we're going to use a tool uh, called Zapier. You're undoubtedly familiar with it. Zapier is going to unpack that array and let us send just the variables or the key pairs that we want over to Fluent CRM. Now I'm going to show you Zapier. I use Zapier. I have a paid account, a premium account, because you're going to need that. Um, I have an account with Zapier. I also use Pably. I use Integrately. I use Integramat. I'm going to put a couple links in the description for you to choose uh, which ones are best for you. Um, but Zapier, I find, does just a really great job with Thrivecart. It, it's an easy to use option, but it's also the most expensive. So the alternative um, I would recommend is Pably. And then after that, probably uh, Integramat. Integrately is also another great choice. So you choose which one you want, the principles are going to be relatively the exact same. Okay, so when you're inside of Zapier, the first thing you wanna do is make a new Zap. And then you're going to want to search for an app. We're going to search for Thrivecart and choose Thrivecart. Then we're going to choose an event. In this example, we are sending somebody that purchases a course into, or any product in Thrivecart into Fluent CRM. So we're going to choose product purchase. That's our trigger event, a purchase has happened. Now we're going to choose our account. You may need to connect your account. This is super easy. Zapier walks you through it. Pably walks you through it. 
super easy stuff. I'm going to choose the account that I already have connected and click continue. And now we're going to set up our trigger and the parameters of this trigger. So for example, what product do we want to trigger this? I'm going to go ahead and choose, uh, for this example, I'm going to choose my Convology Pro membership because I want to show you right below that the pricing options. So you can have this trigger only happen when a particular pricing option is chosen. Maybe your lifetime members, like I have, you want to email them separately from your annual members. I don't actually do that, but if you wanted to, you could distinguish that here. I'm not gonna change any of that. And in fact, look how easy this is. I'm not gonna change anything else. I'm gonna leave all of those things just like they are and press continue. And now they give you the option to test your trigger. You can test this. It's going to pull data in from Thrivecart. I'm not gonna bother with that right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the action option. And this is where you then search for the uh, next app, which would be Fluent CRM, but Zapier does not have a Fluent CRM whatever they're called, app, right? So we want to just send that data by webhook. So let's search for webhooks. And by the way, if you use, uh, can, uh, was it Pabli or uh, Integramat or Integrately, you could search for Fluent CRM. And it's, I think it's there. In fact, I'm sure it's there on Pabli at least and in, in Integrately. All they're doing is giving their webhook feature the name of Fluent CRM. It's the same exact, exact same thing. So we'll just click webhooks by Zapier. And again, this is why you need a premium account because it's a premium feature. And we want to choose an event now, an action event. And this one is just choose post. We're going to post this data to the webhook. If we go back here and we click the pencil here, they're going to tell you, copy the webhook URL you want to send your post request to. So we're just posting it. That's how I knew how to do that. Let's jump back over to Zapier. And now the payload type, we can choose form, JSON, XML, or raw. I just leave it as form. I don't really ever change this. I know JSON's very, um, I think that works with a lot of webhooks, but I'm just gonna leave, leave it as form. It's fine by me. And now we're going to choose the data that we're going to send over. So this section should remind you of the key and value pairs. So for our keys, for example, I'm going to put in first underscore name. I'm also going to click the plus button because I want another key. I want their email. And if I jump back over here to the Fluent uh, CRM settings, we have those key pairs. We have uh, first underscore name, last underscore name, email. That's the key value. So we're just going to put in that. And that's all I'm going to gather from this. I'm going to gather their first name and I'm going to gather their email address from their Thrivecart purchase. Now for the value that we want to send over here, for first name and email, you're going to click into this area here and it's going to show you the information that Zapier brought in when you ran your test. So just to kind of take a step backwards on this test that I didn't run here under test trigger, you're going to want to open this up and then run a test and it's going to show you, um, run a test purchase through your system in test mode or uh, run it in, um, or if you have a live purchase that you already have had go through, pull that test data in so that you have something to reference. So going back to our webhook here under data, let's go ahead and put in my first name. And for email, let's go ahead and put in the email from the order. And that was pretty simple. For wrap request in array, leave that as no. And then leave file alone, leave this alone. It defaults to yes, you don't need any auth here. Headers, I don't put anything there. I just leave those blank and then I push continue. And we can now test this. We can push uh, test and continue. And it'll say success. The test happened and it was created. Now let's jump into Fluent CRM and see what we got. So I just jumped into Fluent CRM and my test data came through. It brought in my uh, Thrivecart test email that I put through and it brought in uh, my first name. There it is, first name came through. So we know that this works. When someone purchases that product in Thrivecart, it'll send the data to that specific webhook with that key and value pair perfectly through the webhook. And that's all there is to it. So hopefully that was helpful getting you set up with sending your customer's data from Thrivecart over to Fluent CRM. I know having that middle step of Zapier or Pavli or Integrately is really annoying. I do hope and wish that Fluent CRM would make a direct integration with Thrivecart or vice versa or whatever needs to happen for those two tools to talk together. Uh, they may in the future, at which point this tutorial will still be accurate. You'll still be able to send webhook data, but hopefully if those two 
tools can talk together in the future, this can be a little more streamlined, a little more straightforward. So that'll do it for this tutorial. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment in this video or on Confology.com. I'd be absolutely happy to help you out and get you on the right track. So that'll do it for me. I'm Doug at Confology, and I'll see you in the next video.